This tutorial will show you how to upload your CS1033 assignment using WinSCP on Windows. So the first thing you'll want to do is go into your web browser, go to Google, and search for WinSCP. The first search result should be the result we want, so we'll click on this download link, and then we will click on installation package. Now at the time of this recording, when I click on direct download, you'll see that it tells me that it's an unknown file type and actually it doesn't give me an option to run the file. So I found that I actually had to click on alternative download and then when I click this bar and click on download file it then gives me the option to run the file. So I'll click on run wait for it to download for a minute and now we'll click on run to start the installation. If you get a security warning just say yes and then we'll click on OK and then Next. You'll have to accept the license agreement, click Next. You can just select Typical Installation, click Next again. Be sure to select Commander Interface, just leave it set to that, click Next and we'll click Install. And then I'll just uncheck this Open Getting Started page. We'll leave the Launch WinSCP checkbox checked and we'll click Finish to run WinSCP. Now that we have WinSCP running, the first thing we want to do is create a stored session, or in other words, a bookmark for the server, so that no matter how many times we need to connect to it, it'll be very quick and easy. So for the protocol, select SFTP. Make sure you select SFTP and not SCP or FTP. So we'll select SFTP. In the hostname, I'll enter publish.gal.csd.uwo.ca. And for the port number, I'll enter port 27, which will work both on and off campus. Now your username is the first part of your UWO email address before the at sign. In my case, my username is CS1033user. You can leave the password field blank and then we just want to click on under environment here, click on directories and uncheck remember last used directory and I'll explain why that's important later on. So clicking back onto session here, I'll click on the save button and we'll call it CS1033 and click OK. From now on, whenever you want to connect to the server, all you have to do is select the Stored Sessions link here, and then just double click on this CS1033 entry that we've created. Now, if you get a warning when you first double click on that CS1033 entry, just click Yes on it. Otherwise, it'll ask you to enter your password. This is not your UWO password. Instead, you should have received this password by email near the beginning of the term. The password is case sensitive, so uppercase and lowercase matter. If you forget your password or you lost the email that you received, see the video on troubleshooting your SFTP connection for details on how to retrieve it. So after typing your password and clicking OK, you should be connected. And you'll probably see something on your screen similar to what I've got in front of you. If you had an error message pop up or you don't see what I'm seeing here, 99.99% of the time you're either typing your password incorrectly or you might have messed up one of the steps we've already completed in this video. So make sure that you go back in this video and ensure that you followed all the steps properly. Now that I'm connected, on the left side, this, these are the files on my local computer. So I can select this little drop down here and, for example, select my desktop, and that shows me all the files on my desktop. On the right side, we have my home directory on the server. Now, on my desktop, I have a folder assigned to, and in that folder, I've got a file hello.txt. Let's say I want to upload the assigned to folder along with this hello.txt file to the server. To do that, I simply take this assigned to folder, drag it over to the right side, and drop it. And then I'll click on this copy button, and it will be uploaded to the server. If I now go to a web browser, uh, your web space is available at http colon slash slash publish dot gall dot csd dot uwo dot ca slash whatever your username is, and in this case I'm cs1033 user. So if I refresh the browser, I see this assigned to folder, and if I click on that, I see the hello.txt file that I uploaded within that folder. Now, if you accidentally get lost on the server, let's say that I accidentally am playing around with this drop down list and I click on this root folder and I want to get back to my home directory. The quickest way to do that is simply to disconnect. So I click on session, disconnect, and then we'll reconnect. And remember we selected, oh, it, it came back. So we'll uncheck remember last used directory and we'll double click on CS1033. 
and after entering our password it should throw us right back in our home directory which it does so again if you get lost ever on the server just disconnect and reconnect and make sure you uncheck that remember last directory checkbox okay i hope that helps you submit your cs1033 assignments on windows using winscp good luck